Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our desert have a garden. I would like to give you an update today on our broccoli. It is the middle of December and these plants have been planted for now well, getting close to 90 days now. And you can see that the plants are very nicely developed in the aquaponics. Um, here's some reference as to how big these leaves are. They're nice and firm and very little damage from bugs on them. I look around and I haven't been able to find any caterpillars, so I'm not sure what's putting these little holes in. But we do seem to have some damage that we're getting from something else, and we suspect it to either be a squirrel or maybe rats if still. Um, we've had a few spots where that's happening, you can see here. But they are nicely developed. It's hard to tell right now which plants are which as far as the Romanesco broccoli, the Umpqua broccoli, and the cauliflower. But I was looking at this plant earlier today and you can see that some, some side shoots are starting here. So it's these plants, they put off one large head of broccoli and then they put off these little side shoots that also develop small amounts of broccoli. You can see in here, this plant is starting to develop a nice little piece of broccoli. <clears throat> the Umpqua plants get to be um, quite large, the heads of broccoli. I don't know, probably eight inches in diameter, some of them. And this plant, I'm pretty sure, is cauliflower. You can see kind of the purple tinge on the leaves. And this variety produces purple heads of cauliflower. When it first gets started, they start out white. Let me see if I can show you. I was finding one in here this morning. Right there, you can see just the barely beginning of a cauliflower head. So this bed is, where's my focus, there we go. This bed is quite full of broccoli and about 90 days of growth and we're looking at harvesting some They're pretty quick. These smaller plants I put in at a later date because we had some holes to fill in of plants that hadn't survived and so they're a little bit smaller. Here you can see this plant has had quite a bit of insect damage. And I come out here to try and check for caterpillars and such, but I just don't find them. This one has something's been gnawing on it big there. I'm hoping that whatever this is that's been eating these leaves is not going to enjoy the broccoli itself. I didn't have this same problem last year. Last year, actually, we just had aphid issues. Oh, look at that. There's a bok choy hidden in here. A loose seed must have gotten away. So I, what I have been doing for maintenance out here is I've been cutting off lower leaves, such as this one here, that drag into the right against the rocks. You don't want them to start mildewing. So when I get my shears out, I'll cut that. And then I just feed these random leaves to the chickens. You can hear them, they're quite cackly today. I really like those leaves. Um, but I will also show you the comparison of those plants that are in the dirt. So you can see these huge plants getting broccoli on them right there in the aquaponics. And then we flip across to the dirt, the plants that were planted at the same time. And you can see they're much smaller, but they're looking really nice. It's good, healthy growth. And so I wonder if they will also start developing heads of broccoli right away because they're the same age or if they will wait until they get much more growth. So this whole row is the broccoli and cauliflower and I'm guessing this one is cauliflower because it has that purple tinge to it and I don't see any cauliflower going on down in there. Not yet. But they are growing and they look good. They're enjoying this nice, cool weather. There's a little 
dew drop. It didn't rain last night, but the ground was all wet this morning, so we had a little bit of dew. And you can see here that I planted some plants. Well, it's already been two weeks, but it's pretty small little sprout. I've been planting to fill in more holes. And while we're over here, I might as well show you my bell peppers that look great and they're nice and big but they're just not turning orange and I have to wonder if it's a result of um, very short days not very much sunlight out here so I keep trying to wait longer and longer in order to allow them to turn orange but I did eat one of the green peppers and it was quite tasty and also the strawberry plant has all kinds of nice green growth and looking good. These are the snap peas. And I haven't noticed any snap peas on them yet. Let's see if we can spot any. Sometimes if I look again, I'll see them. I don't see any. But I suspect the same thing that's been eating the broccoli is also eating these. You can see there. Right here is a piece of it busted off. So that's our December update on broccoli. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.